Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have the 2025 MIT Integration B semi-final question three. So why don't we just get into question? Well, this question seems impossible, right? Because we see that with these terms, there are no relation. But some of you guys might be thinking, well, this is x plus one of x, and this is e to the x plus one of x. Surely there is a connection. But the thing is, if you want to do a u sub, for example, u equals to x plus one of x, then du will be, if you imagine, one minus one of x squared, which is nothing to do with x plus one of x. So now we're out of options. So this means that this integral is the answer to this integral is probably the product rule of some function with e to the x plus one of x. So why don't we assume that function to be p of x? So that means that what we're trying to figure out is p to the x times e to the x plus one of x derivative okay so the derivative of this is if we use product rule then this will be the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second so derivative of e to the x plus one of x is you just copy it and then you multiply by the derivative of this, or the chain rule, is just 1 minus 1 over x squared. Okay, so if we factor out a e to the x plus 1 of x, this will just be this. is just leave it here, p prime of x. And then we add p of x times... 1 minus 1 over x squared. So, as we can see, we want this to be equal to the integrand. So far, the only things that are matching is e to the x plus 1 of x, and that's e to the x plus 1 of x. So we need this to be equal to this. But before we do that equation, we first need a valid guess about what the polynomial p of x would look like. Well, in my opinion, I think that p of x should have the degree of 3. Because then the derivative will have a degree of 2. And look, that is what we want. So, if I just let p x to be equal to a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d, and p prime of x to be the derivative, 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c. Okay, so now that we have this, then we can create the equation. So this will have to equal to that. p prime of x is just this, so it becomes 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c. And then we add p of x, which is that ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d multiplied by 1 minus 1 over x squared has to be equal to this. Okay, so now I'm going to rub everything out and then we can just expand this bracket. Okay. So now, if you can do this on your own, you expand both sides and you collect all the like terms, then you see that this is what will happen. The left-hand side will just be this, and the right-hand side will just be... Okay, so as you can see, I already kind of did the work for you guys. I just aligned up the terms. So now we can see that a is 3, and we see that there's no d term, 
so b is 0. 3a plus b is 7. So from here we can see that if we plug in a equals 3, then 9 plus b equals 7. So b equals to negative 2. Okay, and we can also see that this term, c minus b, equals to 7. And now, since b is negative 2, then this becomes c plus 2 equals 7. So c equals 5. So now, we have a, b, c, and d. So if you remembered, this integral is equal to p of x. We're going to write it here. p of x times e to the x plus 1 of x. And if you forgot, I'm just going to remind you, p of x was ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So, now that we have a, b, c, and d, then we see that this integral is just equal to p of x, so 3x cubed, b is negative 2, so minus 2x squared, and c is 5, so plus 5x, d is 0, and we multiply this by e to the x plus 1 of x, and don't forget the plus c. So this is the final answer of the 2025 MIT Integration B semi-final question 3. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my video and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.